Security, a large investment arrives at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. It's not only meant to protect soldiers, but also cut military spending. Robert Lowry was at the unveiling of a massive supercomputer earlier today. He's asking just how much it can save during this time of sequestration. Millions of hours have already been logged in trying to find ways to protect troops and create better equipment. The 14th fastest supercomputer in the world now runs at Wright Patterson Air Force Base with it, a promise to cut excessive spending. These are the newest recruits serving the military. They can't hold a weapon, but combined, this whole system can help researchers create better technology for soldiers. They can try, you know, run through different iterations of that and try different things out in simulation before they ever build something. This $25 million investment is now sitting at Wright Patterson Air Force Base. Named Spirit, this system is the fastest supercomputer in the Department of Defense. More than 2,000 people from around the world can log into this system. Is not only meant to help save lives, it can also save money. Instead of going out there and blowing something up, we can actually simulate it on the system. So we save a lot of money doing it that way. A lot of money the government is trying to find ways to cut back. As we are celebrating this, we also have uh, the sadness and disappointment that the base is suffering. Uh, the effects and the consequences of sequestration. Although a large investment up front, the commander at the Air Force Research Lab says it is a necessary tool. Millions of hours of research can be done in this system before reaching real world applications. They've gotten to be more important as time goes on, uh, especially in you know business constrained uh, and dollar constrained times. You, you go and test a wing out and break it, you know, that costs money and it takes a lot of, of time and, and energy to go out there and do that type of thing. It's an initial cost with hopes to cut down the military's budget without cutting down people working on the base. Researchers at the Air Force Research Lab expect the computer to last four years on the base. Instead of scrapping it, however, the supercomputer will be used at other facilities or universities. Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.